This season, we were inspired by South Africa. Not just the beautiful surf beaches of Durban and Jeffreys Bay, but also the unique and culturally rich Ndebele tribe. Some of our team were lucky enough to trek inland to visit the people and charming Ndebele village of Mapoch. Mapoch is located in the northeast of South Africa, 100 kilometers from Pretoria. Mapoch, it came from the name of the chief who brought the community here, Mapogo. But the white people didn't know how to pronounce the name Mapogo, so they told it Mapoch. So here is the cultural village. The community here was evicted in 1953 from Pretoria due to Land Act of 1950s, whereby black people were not allowed to live around the city. So they brought the community here in 1953, and it was just only trees around here. So the government gave them the military tents to live in the tents temporarily. So they started to build the rendezvous of the elders, whereby the rendezvous is, was used as a kitchen and a bedroom. They were uh, accommodating the whole uh, family of 10 to 12 people in the rendezvous. The colorful houses, otherwise known as rondavals, are painted in rich reds, browns, blues and yellows by the women of the tribe. These colorful graphic artworks and tribal patterns influenced our color palette and prints used in our range. Me also, I tried when I was seven years. It was tough, so difficult. I didn't, I didn't go everywhere where I was like I, I was liking to do it. Always when I'm coming from school from crash, I was doing it. So it's nice to do bit work. The tribal dress, in particular the beaded headwear, bracelets, and neck pieces, were used in our styling of looks on our shoot, and inspired some of the trim and beaded details of our garments and swimwear. My, my dream when I grew up, I want to be a doctor because of I want to help people who are sick and suffering from other things. When I grow up, I want to be a journalist. I like reading books and taking others, people who write them about in the newspaper, maybe in the magazine. Or I will like to write about the poor people so that maybe the richer can help the poor. I have to read, read mm. a lot so that I can catch my dreams. We spoke to tribal elder Chris and many of the women and children. They danced and sang for us, showed us their beaded craft and demonstrated their painting technique for us. They told us their tribal stories, the elders in their native language and the young women and children in their best English. They shared their hopes and dreams and their desire to retain their cultural practices their beautiful spirits shining through. The Ndebele people of Mapoch are truly inspirational. We're so grateful to them for sharing with us an insight into their world, their art and craft, and their hopes and dreams for the future. Billabon is working with the women of Mapoch to purchase some of their handcrafted bowls, vases, dolls, and beautiful jewelry for display in our stores. We're also purchasing some of their art and working with them to design and produce some beaded friendship bracelets. These bracelets are a symbol of our connection and friendship to this very special group of women. It's our way of giving back and thanking them for sharing their stories and inspiring our range. South Africa was the first stop on this new journey. Welcome to Billabon's World of Adventure. <laughs>